from Kisumu to Nyabohanze. I just hired a lorry and brought my stuff. Uh -huh. It was so weird for people, like, that was a big step and mm -hmm. it was so strange. So people are like, who is, like, how, who does that? Mm -hmm. Were you sent, you know, questions? Maybe you're a spy, maybe mm -hmm. you're, you know. Oh, so people thought like you're a spy. Yeah, maybe you're a spy mm -hmm. and stuff. And I don't know, I've not, maybe a few comments of people still saying I'm a spy and stuff that but it, it's not true, so it doesn't affect me. It used to affect me so much before I met Travel Commando. Mm -hmm. Because I was like, what if... Hello, how are people? Welcome again. It's Cyprian and Pashua TV. Guys, and today I'm coming live from Pashua is Villa, or some of them call them mansion. And today, guys, I'm a Kanban... Nimesema Pashua Villa. Anza upia. Nimesema Pashua Villa? Apana, Marwa. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Start. Yes, our people, welcome again to our channel. It's Cypri and Pashua Media. And guys, today we are coming from Ayamara's mansion of Villa. And today I'm accompanied with a very, very beautiful African queen. Hey, Mambo. Hey. <laughs> anyway, yes. Mambo, it's a, a Kenyan uh, greetings, like hi. Or hello. Yes. Uh, or uh, for yes. those people who don't un understand Swahili. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Pashua TV and Cyprin. Thank you so much. Maybe if you don't mind, you can uh, express, um, introduce yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm African village cook. You know, right now I introduce myself with the. African, uh, the YouTube name, uh -huh. that is African Village Cook, or uh, T. Mm -hmm. My name is Tina. Tina. But, yeah, I use it as, I, I just cut it as T. Uh -huh. Yeah. If I go back to where I came from uh -huh. and say T, I'm called T, they'll be like, T, T, T. What's T. up? Uh -huh. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, because uh, I use Tina, but when I came to the village, mm -hmm. uh, they just got used to T. Oh, okay. Yes. Now, T, I can see you, you have been living here in Marie's mansion for so many days. Mm -hmm. What's the secret behind? Oh, is there like you are working here or what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. So I'm so glad to say that um, I am Mara's chef. Wow. Yes, I'm the one cooking for our travel commando and uh -huh. his guests, guests like VIP guests, that mm -hmm. is international and both local VIP guests. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I've been living in the villa for right now, I think two weeks, mm -hmm. two plus weeks, yeah. Official wow! Two weeks, yeah. Wow, Tina. Yes. So I'm sitting next to a chef, yes. and this one is a professional mm -hmm. chef. And yeah. Tina, now I just want us to go back. Yeah. I know it's not like you started your channel maybe in two weeks' time, mm -hmm. but you started long time ago as an African village cook. Yeah. Maybe if you don't mind, can you take us through how you started your YouTube channel mm -hmm. and how did you discover about Marwa? Okay, so. First of all, I started my YouTube channel. Uh, yesterday I was checking and it was like four years ago. I have some videos for, from four years ago. Mm -hmm. I just had a passion mm -hmm. in YouTube. I had passion in social media. Uh, I used to watch a lot and I was like, I, I watch so much. And I think I can also do this thing. I think people are earning from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, sometimes you're just in the house and you Google yeah, ways sure. to make money. Yeah, yeah. Then you see YouTube is one of them. So yes. that's how I started uh, doing YouTube. I uh -huh. had a passion in recording, uh -huh. editing. Mm -hmm. Because even in school, I did media, mm -hmm. communication and media technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so above that, it was just a passion. I started four years ago. I wasn't serious. Mm -hmm. I wasn't serious because. Um, I didn't know the impact that YouTube had on people's life. Mm -hmm. uh, that is until I came to Nyabohanze. That's when now, I started Tina. being serious. Okay, Tina, let me ask you, your first video, mm -hmm. was it about cooking or what was it about? My first video was just about vlogging, uh -huh. just uh, like, uh, okay, cooking my food in the house, cleaning, you know, going to the market. Mm -hmm. It was just generally vlogging. Mm -hmm. Yes. Does so, it mean also you went to school to do this course of chef or? Not really. Mm -hmm. uh, I started cooking as, um, you know, in African village, when you live with your grandmother, mm -hmm. you start cooking when you're very young. Mm -hmm. So all my cousins were leaving the home. Okay. You reach uh, like grade eight, you go to high school boarding or mm -hmm. you go to somewhere else. So I was the only young kid in the home mm -hmm. at seven years old, remaining with my grandpa and grandma. So I had to st uh, cook 
okay. at least help. So mm -hmm. from there, I started knowing how to cook. Mm -hmm. Grandma's recipe, they're very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with time, it just, I think I just, it, it just became passion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was now cooking, cooking, cooking. I mm -hmm. went to high school, stopped cooking for a while. I came home, you know, I'm the firstborn. You sure. know, as a firstborn, you have to take care of others. Uh -huh. So I'm the one who makes sure people eat. I uh -huh. cook, I cook, I cook. And it just became passion. And now, passion, my passion for cooking, like that's, 50% passion mm -hmm. for cooking and the other 50 for YouTube and internet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just mixed you it. You combined them. I combined them mm -hmm. and uh, had a channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have been running your channel for four years? Uh, I'd say I've been running my channel since February this year. Uh -huh. That's when I became serious. With what the, made you to become serious on February? I came to Nyabuhanze. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I had a, a job in Kisumu. Mm -hmm. I was being paid, you know, the normal 20,000. No, yeah, 20, let's say 200 USD. Uh -huh. Even 200 USD is a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was like, I need something more because mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. Let me go to Nyabuhanze and see why these uh, young YouTubers are building houses, you mm -hmm. know, traveling, how are they making money. I know YouTube pays, but like, I didn't know how much impact this yeah, village had. Yeah, sure. So I visited from Kisumu just mm -hmm. for two days. I met David Jr. I met uh, Uncle Mo. Yeah. We did some I collaborations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the videos got like more than a thousand views and I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. that In is your possible. channel? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is possible. Mm -hmm. So I went back to Kisumu. Then I was like, after two days, like, I'm coming back again. What? So I came back uh -huh. for another week no okay. month one uh -huh. month one month one month one week mm -hmm. so this is the time i met my mm -hmm. i met uh, other many other it's nasto maja mm -hmm. when they came from uganda mm -hmm. and the first week when i came back the second time that's when i got monetized and i learned so much because these people when you came you come here and you interact they mm -hmm. tell you so much so many things that about, you about youtube, youtube yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The advertisements, the longer the video, the better. Mm -hmm. Those all those secrets that we didn't know. Mm -hmm. And I got monetized with only like four videos, mm -hmm. doing uh, videos with my Yugno. Mm -hmm. And that's how now when I started being serious with YouTube, and I was like, I'm not going back to my work. What? Yes. And that's how you just quitted your job. Yes. Because of YouTube. Yes. Oh my I God! Are you still? You know, I, I, I know some people are gonna be like this lady is lying, but yeah. I know you are saying the truth. I did quit, but not like quitting, quitting, because uh -huh. my my boss was also doing other things. Mm -hmm. So we were like, you know, we were seeing the future. Sometimes if you sit somewhere, you look at the future and like, sure. I don't think there's something here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was seeing ahead, and I was my I just knew that. Uh, within five months, I don't think this j job will be existing anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let me just go uh, forgo the salary, the mm -hmm. comfortable salary. It's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. If you don't, if you're not careful, you might be working for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I did quit and I came to Nyabuhanze and the first month I made three times of what I was being paid. When you say three times, <laughs> oh my now God. Now you can calculate. So that the means you got around 600 USD. I got around 600 USD, yes. From Even YouTube. More. I think it was more. From YouTube. From YouTube, the first month I came to Nyabuhanze. Yeah. You know, I'm, all, I'm also shocked, like other fans. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube is, uh, YouTube is, is a good flat platform. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody is in, uh, let's say, Kisumu and they are watching this mm -hmm. and they want to start YouTube. Sure. You just go to the street, record, but you, you put your video, it's not going. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sometimes you don't have views. Sometimes you don't you have, have views. You have even two or ten. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's not easy. But if you get a chance mm -hmm. and if you have a passion mm -hmm. like I did and moved to Nyobohanze and learned so much, mm -hmm. the secrets, the, mm -hmm. you know, posting daily. Mm -hmm. You know, as we used to post once a week, like, mm -hmm. what is that? Mm -hmm. What is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You post daily, mm -hmm. and I think this posting daily thing came from Travel Commando, by the way. Okay. Yeah, because he was posting daily, and I think now most YouTubers, even in the world, are yeah, now nowadays they post it to daily. Post daily or yeah. Maybe two days. Yeah. Apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And that's how you you got that secret, deep secret. That's yeah. That's how I got the deep secrets. I, I became uh, serious. Uh -huh. And what you want is what you get, because. Mm -hmm. 
I know, like it's hard, it's hard, but you you can try. Mm -hmm, you can try. Yeah, and now I'm paying my bills to YouTube since, since I, I'd say since March. Uh -huh. Yes. Now you don't depend on anyone. No. You cannot ask it for someone for help. At least you have something. Your income, what you call, it's yours. I don't remember how to even ask for help. Uh -huh. Like it's been, you know, it was I got my job like four years ago, so mm -hmm. I was working, 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 but then. Now YouTube is even better. YouTube is yes, better. Yes. Now, T, someone yes. could be interested to know, how did you become uh, Mara's chef? Okay, all right. That's a very tough question. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. first of all, you asked me how I met Mara. Mm -hmm. uh, that question is still in my mind. Yes. As I loved, uh, I love social media. I love watching. I mm -hmm. love uh, travel videos. Sure. So, one time I came across... Uh, I think it through Jalango, not through Jalango, but mm -hmm. no, there was something that happened to him in Colombia, one of his videos, it mm -hmm. popped up. Okay. And I was like, this Kenyan guy is in Colombia, why are they doing this to him? Mm -hmm. So since then I subscribed and I've been following, following, following. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you get somebody on YouTube, you go follow them on Instagram as well. Because sure. I'm like, he's Kenyan. Yeah. He's from the village, like Isbanya. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when you're in Kisumu and you hear Isbanya, it's like, it's a very, it's village village mm -hmm. isbane is a nice town by the way sure yeah so i used to see his drowned footages from above you mm -hmm. know, where he was living you know the the, the previous houses sure yeah how mm -hmm. they were living and now he's trying to build his mom house. like it was just a nice story mm -hmm. so that's when i started following him like really really yeah, like you just wanted fan. to know more about it i just him. wanted to know more you know the videos are also very addictive yeah. if you start watching tomorrow mm -hmm. today is in mexico mm -hmm. tomorrow is going to this place mm -hmm. you know so it's like you flowing. just want to know all the countries yeah. places, places without even traveling what's in the streets what's yeah the showing? like it's just natural so mm -hmm. it was addictive and I followed him on Instagram, like I've been a very strong supporter. Mm -hmm. And that's why I decided to move to Nyabohanze. Uh -huh. So when I moved to Nyabohanze, four months before he came home, uh -huh. I think he was in Mexico when I was moving. Yeah, I think he was in Mexico when I was moving to Nyabohanze. So I came to, you know, know more his people. Because mm -hmm. when he's out there, the village is still like it's still narrow like they okay. live mm -hmm. yeah so i came to interact and know his people mm -hmm. like in anasto like mm -hmm. youtubers under him mm -hmm. who are also big yeah yeah because when i came the first month we mm -hmm. created connection you know we created connection with other youtubers so i was just like why can't i just move and you know know people know this village make your stuff. friends so once you're in the village and he's out there of course, he sees videos from this village, like mm -hmm. what's going on in my village. Sure. So I think in between, I think maybe my videos popped up. Mm -hmm. And of course, I was supporting also on Instagram and stuff. So when he came back home, we gave him like one or two weeks to rest. Then I just came to him and asked him, uh, I'm a cook. Can you give me a chance to, you know, maybe do something around? You mm -hmm. know, if you just do a video in this compound, that sure. video will do well. Yeah. Yes, so mm -hmm. I asked a chance to maybe just be allowed to be in the compound. Then the next time I also said I'm a cook. Myself. So, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when I said I'm a cook, uh, I think you, you heard that I was going to be the main yeah, cook for the party. Sure. Hey. <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so uh, when I came to him to ask for the chance to cook, I think the imagination was like I was going to be there, the chief chef, chef for the uh -huh. whole, party. whole party. Yes. Okay. So, but me, what the position I wanted was just to be his chef. Okay. You know, I even wanted just one chance to cook the one meal, mm -hmm. just one meal for him. Mm -hmm. There's this meal that he loved so much in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. He was going to look for it. I think he went like twice or thirty mm -hmm. to look for it. Okay. It's like some plantains, uh -huh. rice, beans, and some beef. I think. Uh -huh they do it in Jamaica somewhere. So I was like, can if I get a chance to just make this to cook one for you. meal yeah. for him, maybe my channel will, you know, get some attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my intention. Mm -hmm. And my message reached like I wanted to be a chef, even though it took some time for me to be accepted to be the chef, because okay. there were some people who are still in that position. Mm -hmm. But my time came. arrived, my time came. Wow. <laughs> 
my time, wow, my, my wow. time came, uh -huh. and now I've been cooking for the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yes, how and are you it's feeling been interesting. now? It's been nice. Mm -hmm. It's been wonderful. Like right? mm -hmm. you know what you, what you wanted like four months ago. You got it. And you took like another one month mm -hmm. when you're around to get the chance, mm -hmm. and now you got it. Mm -hmm. It was the best feeling. The best. Yeah. So far, you know people were like, she's afraid. She can't cook. Uh -huh. Is she afraid? You know, somebody told me you look nervous to do this job. I'm uh -huh. like, what do you mean? I'm not nervous. <laughs> I seriously need yeah, that job. Yeah, I uh -huh. seriously need it. Even though, you, if even if you don't trust your cooking, mm -hmm. at least go and try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I trust my cooking, so I knew, of course, my my food will just be okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. And the first time you cooked for him, how was it? Maybe in terms of testing mm -hmm. or the recommendation? Did he say something he about said, it? He said the food was good because first when I cook, the first time you're cooking for somebody, you'll ask them, was the food okay? Then he said it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I trust my food. I also test it before it goes there. Mm -hmm. So I know it's, today it's good. Mm -hmm. and not that today it's every day. every time yeah yeah maybe sometimes they don't put enough salt uh -huh. <laughs> but the food is still good now did you try the jamaican food not yet i've not uh, gotten that time yet because <laughs> jamaican food need, they need time mm -hmm. like that beans i have to start today the mm -hmm. meat i have to marinate it from today mm -hmm. it needs a lot of time but i'm planning to do it yesterday i was looking for a day to do it but right now because i have ten thousand subscribers mm -hmm. I still want to celebrate the 10,000 subscribers, then plan that after. When are you celebrating so that we can <laughs> join you? I wish I could do it even today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's just a matter of planning and arranging things in, in time. Mm -hmm. And make sure that my supper, I know what I'll cook for supper. Mm -hmm. Then I take time, like in the middle, and do my celebration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know, uh, T, you have been surfing also to a VIP. Yeah. VIP people from all over the country or mm. worldwide. Yes. How is the reception from them? Ah, it's been nice. It's been really nice. It's a, uh, it's a privilege. And um, I'm honored to have met a few of them. Mm -hmm. All of them, actually. I've met all of them. They are very nice. And they appreciate African meals. You mm -hmm. know, when they, when they come here, we don't want to be giving them what they eat out there. Yeah, yeah, sure. They, they should experience the African mm -hmm. cuisine, the mm -hmm. African food. So if I cook my chicken, I don't cook it as they do in the U.S. I cook it with my grandma's recipe, the nice one, the thick one, mm -hmm. yeah. And ugali, and they love the food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we try to mix, but in the village here we also cook. We also cook rice, we do uh, carrots, vegetables, and uh, chapati. Mm -hmm. Chapati is roti. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do ugali. Some of them have complained that ugali is uh, too much because you know in Africa. Yeah, we love like me. I at love least ugali. one meal in a day. Yeah, we have to. If we have lunch, <coughs> rice, lunch, mm -hmm. we have to do ugali. Sure. So for them, it's like ugali is too much. Mm. So I try to mix with something yeah, with else. Something maybe pasta. Uh huh. But just once in a while, they should eat ugali. Yeah, at yes. least it's so sweet. You know, yeah. it's too, it's heavy when you eat. Maybe you can survive for the <laughs> last maybe 12 hours yeah. when you feel like eating, then you are like, mm, I just want to get ugali. Ugali yeah. is the best. Now, yeah. see, the first video, they maybe when... They say it's tasteless. Uh, no, they say so. They say it's tasteless. Like, oh it doesn't God. have they any don't know. taste. <laughs> oh, they don't know. You guys, you should try yeah, ugali. Yeah, yeah. Now, see, yes. I know the first day when you did your cooking, mm. uh, Marwa posted in his channel. Mm -hmm. How was the comments or the negative side? Do you reply or how do you handle? Uh, actually, I did see very many positive comments. Mm -hmm. I My eyes miss a lot of negative comments. I don't know why. I haven't seen a lot of negative comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even though there was a story, you know, me moving from Kisumu to Nyabohanze, I just hired a lorry and brought my stuff. Uh -huh. It was so weird for people, like, that was a big step mm -hmm. and it was so strange. So people are like, who is, like, how, who does that? Mm -hmm. Were you sent, you know, questions, maybe you're a spy, maybe mm -hmm. you're, you know. Oh, so people thought like you're a spy. Yeah, maybe you're a spy mm -hmm. and stuff. And... I don't know, I've not, maybe a few comments of people still saying I'm a spy and stuff, that, but it, it's not true, so it doesn't affect me. It used to affect me so much before I met Travel Commando, mm -hmm. because I was like, what if 
he takes the the rumors serious. Mm -hmm. Maybe and I moved all the way from my town. I left my family. I left my siblings mm -hmm. to come here and uh, do what I love. Mm -hmm. What if he hears about the rumors and takes it seriously? That means he won't accept me. He would be like, question himself like, can I trust? Can I trust her? But thankfully, he didn't uh, believe any of those rumors. I mm -hmm. think him also as a traveler, he's traveled so much out there. Mm -hmm. And he understands so many things like so. So, so T, let's say it's all about content creation. Mm -hmm. That's why you decided to move to Nyabuanse. It's about content creation and mm -hmm. taking risks in life. We just take risks. Mm -hmm. I was like, what am I doing in Kisumu? Mm -hmm. My job is not here anymore. Mm -hmm. And I also had a supplies company, and mm -hmm. my company, my supplies business. Sorry, if I say company, it sounds big. Mm -hmm. you know, a supplies business, and the supplies business was not doing that well. You know, as a lady. Imagine me going to an organization where <laughs> only men are leaders. Sure. You know our Kenya, like you yeah. know how things are. So mm -hmm. you go there, ask for a, um, a contract or a tender. Mm -hmm. Instead of being given like, yeah, here it is, go and apply. Blah, they tell you, come for dinner, come for what, you know, these fake dinners. Sure. So I was like, I did that, I think, like five times and I got almost the same response. Somebody. Mm -hmm. They want dinner first before they give you the tender. So I just took all my papers, mm -hmm. my company papers, and put them aside. Now Tina, and uh, okay. And came to Nyabohanze to do YouTube. Like, mm -hmm. That's why I moved. And this country is for everybody. Sure. I can live anywhere I want to. Now, Even right now, I can go to Trukana and just do my thing. Yes. Yeah. Now Tina, I've said you cried, you cried. Mm -hmm. Does it mean you saw those uh, comment, in the comment section or mm -hmm. people were coming Personally, to you to say about that spy thing? Uh, personally, not not personally. Mm -hmm. Most of them were just comments. Oh, in the comment section of Mara's videos. Mara's videos and um, my videos as well. Mm -hmm. You're a spy and stuff. It was so. Does it I, mean I got, you did a video showing like you are shifting, you are migrating from your from your county I to this did county? Not. I did not. It then how comes it came out like uh, <laughs> now you have moved from Kisumu yeah, to Nyabuanse? Because maybe one or one or two of my videos, I said now I moved in and maybe showing my house, you know, mm -hmm. like now I've, I've arranged my house now I'm in Nyabuanse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's where they got the, the news for moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after how long did you feel like now I'm relieved? Uh, when I came and met Travel Commando, Ayamara, mm -hmm. and he was welcoming. He was welcoming and he gave me the... He, he, he was like, yes, you can do this. Are you ready to do this? You know, and like planning and stuff. So I was like, yeah, okay. He did not listen to these people. Maybe he had, but he did not take it like, to them. serious. Because mm -hmm. that's when, and when he himself is okay with something, he was okay with me being here. He was okay with being, me being around. I was like, because, you know, maybe, maybe the people who are telling him this, that, and spy, she's a spy, she's bad. Maybe they're just doing that because they don't want somebody to grow. Mm -hmm. Because we are still maybe on the same level. We are all fighting to grow and stuff. Maybe he, as a, like, he reasoned within himself and like, maybe it's not true. Maybe it's just, you know, little jealousy, mm -hmm. com competition yeah, sure, and sure. stuff. Yeah, but I'm so great. Now, when he accepted me in the compound and mm -hmm. accepted me to be here, mm -hmm. is when I was like, my anxiety went. Mm -hmm. I remember being in the house for a week when he was here. Being in the house for a week, I didn't step out. Mm -hmm. I didn't upload a video. Because I was so stressed, I was like, why are people pushing? Because people were, when he came back now, people were pushing the spy thing so mm -hmm, much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were pushing it so much. I don't know why, it just, it just came again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, I'm yeah. sorry for that. <laughs> it's okay. You know, in content creation, you have to be very strong. Yeah. Sometimes you True. have to ignore the negativity mm -hmm. side and yeah. uh, concentrate on the positivity side. Yes. Now, Tina, since you have said that, I think now from your story, you are not a professional cook. Yes. What no. if Mara now, today, like now? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it will happen. Mm -hmm. it's, we are just talking. Mm -hmm. What if, like now, mm -hmm. Mara said to bring someone who is professional? Mm -hmm. What will you, how will you react to that? Uh, we will help each other. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You won't we feel bad? I won't feel bad. Mm -hmm. Are you guys planning to bring... 
No, 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 no. I, I just asked because you know from your story, yeah, you know, sometimes you get questions from. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Cooking is not like professional. Mm -hmm. There's so many good cooks out there who didn't even go to school for catering. Uh -huh. I'm telling you. Uh -huh. And those who went to school for catering, they do this, they, they do too much. Sorry, not in a bad way, but okay. some, uh -huh. let me say some. Sure. Some do too much until they spoil it. Uh -huh. So the simple, and he wanted his guests to experience the African traditional foods. Uh -huh. Leave alone those that went to school, you know. Uh -huh the traditional way and mm -hmm. they love the food so there's no chance there's no chance <laughs> <laughs> i think I'm you know joking, i've I'm liked the, I've, I, one thing i've liked about you mm. you are you are positive yeah. you know if uh, if it was somebody who i asked the same question mm. i could have gotten a negative answer yeah. but from you i'm happy mm. just to continue with that uh, heart or yeah. with that uh, golden heart mm. now tina i know most people in this compound are youtubers yes what have you learned from them? Mm -hmm. So much. Like, we've learned so, 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 so much. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I think you should go and look at the master class if you're out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's so much to learn from other YouTubers here. Mm -hmm. How to record, how to do a thumbnail, how to set your advertisements. Who knew that? Mm -hmm. I didn't know, know that mm -hmm. before. Sure. Yeah, so there's so many. Like, they... they consistency mm -hmm. and uh, persistence mm -hmm. and the hard work in these people mm -hmm. it's crazy like if i if i'm back in kisumu right now i'll just relax sure. i just want to go and eat fish mm -hmm. in the, maybe the confidence won't be there but if you wake up and see nasto holding a camera like they're working so hard so sure. the hard work and uh, persistency and consistency it's kind, it's, it's really motivating. It's motivating, yeah. 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 Now, you know what, uh, see, most people, and uh, I keep on at uh, asking every content creator this question. Yeah. Outside there, when maybe you border, a border border. Mm. You know, sometimes like me, you know, we usually do interview. I can interview someone, but it doesn't know maybe I'm doing some interview. Yeah. You get some people outside there, they're like, no, that person is recruiting those young women and mm. the men into the Illuminati, into Freemason. I don't know what about what, what what's your take about it <laughs> i know even you you have seen in I've comment section you have added yeah. now from your from your experience mm. what can you say first of all i think I, I i pray let me say i pray for these people to like open like yeah. you know we don't have a lot of time in this world mm -hmm. you should uh, be open-minded Social media right now is something, it's big. Even TikTok is paying. So sure. I think they should just be, I don't want to say the bad word, but I'd love, I'd wish and hope that these people get to understand the new world that we're living in. Mm -hmm. Get to know that you can also be rich mm -hmm. through hard work. Sure. I don't know why people say when somebody is rich and uh, now somebody has wealth. It's, it's about always, Illuminati. It's always Illuminati, Freemason. the devil. And it's not God. Why can't they say mm -hmm. it's God that, you know, did this to this young sure. man? Sure. No, no. Mm -hmm. So I just make, I don't know what to say. This, this uh, issue has been a lot in the village, especially in the village that we are all worshipping the devil and that's how... These people don't know that there's something called Google and Google have ads, advertisements, and advertisements, if somebody watches that advertisement, the Google will pay. So, sure. And they pay in dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just be open-minded. If you're out there and thinking of Illuminati, be open-minded right now. The world is changing. It's changing. Yes. Now, T, there are some people watching us. Yeah. I know most, uh, maybe our new subscribers, yes. our fans, maybe they are planning to open mm -hmm. a YouTube channel. Yeah. What's your advice to them? First, uh, first advice is do research. Mm -hmm. Take your time to do research. Watch videos on YouTube that get clicks. Mm -hmm. Don't just do anything. You know, I can just take my phone and start recording. You know, this is a grass, mm -hmm. and this grass takes how long to get, you know, yeah. big and strong and stuff. Mm -hmm. But that video, you might it might be the best video ever recorded, but it doesn't have um, that thing that makes people want to watch, watch it. Mm -hmm. So just do your research first. Mm -hmm. I wish when I was starting my YouTube channel, I did research and knew what was going. 
mm -hmm. at the time. Okay. What is trending now? Like, mm -hmm. is it African village videos? Mm -hmm. Is it traveling? Is it, you know, cooking? So I, I think first of all, do your research. Uh, just do general research. There's things we've learned in this village that we didn't know. Have a nice thumbnail mm -hmm. and believe in yourself. Don't just record something, sh 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 just have a very nice video. Mm -hmm. Maybe that one video with that one subscriber, you never know. Your thumbnail can be the next 10 million views out sure. there. So it's not easy, but trying is good. Yeah, just trying try. is good. Just click on create channel and mm -hmm. try something. Uh, when we were starting, when I was starting my YouTube channel, I didn't take I didn't take it serious, so I wasn't doing my videos like quality videos. Mm -hmm. You know, you can have your phone, sure. but still, the quality some, is yeah, too the low. The quality is low. The way it's recorded, it's boring. Mm -hmm. So if you can do something really, really nice and. Um, even if the quality is bad because you ha you don't have a good phone, but at least it's something that it's flowing. Sure. Just do it and try. You never know. Have a very nice thumbnail. You know these things. I just learned them in this village. Sure. So after this party, when I'll not be busy cooking for the boss, Ayamara, these the things I'm saying now. I'm going to practice them now mm -hmm. in my future videos. So, are you planning to do traveling vlog, or you are planning to do African village cook um, cooking? So I'm, I'm planning to do both because mm -hmm. when I'm doing African cooking, I want to go to different communities, mm -hmm. like maybe maybe go to South Africa, Namibia, mm -hmm. you know, Angola, Zimbabwe. So you, so you want to start I with go, Africans? Yes, as mm -hmm. I go, I travel, mm -hmm. yeah. So y you mean uh, like when you are traveling, you are doing a uh, same time traveling vlog, at yeah. the same time you can cook. cook. Because cooking, yeah. you can cook even in the forest, I as long as you anywhere. have the, all the yeah. ingredients you yes, want. Yes, Okay. So to make it more interesting, I, I travel, mm -hmm. when I travel, I vlog that, uh -huh. then when I reach there, I do my research on the food, Okay. I cook. Is wow. that a really nice Amazing, thing? <laughs> nice thing. Yeah. Now, T, I think we are winding up. Maybe you can share your uh, social and so that mm -hmm. people can go and watch your 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 work. Videos. Yeah, or videos. So, yeah. on YouTube, I go with African Village Cook. YouTube is my main right now, but mm -hmm. I want to be serious on TikTok as well. It's mm -hmm. African Village Cook, same thing. Uh, I also have a Twitter that I don't log into so much, African Village Cook, and Instagram as well, African Village Cook. Mm -hmm. So after this party, okay. I'm going to be serious on all these socials because there's so much you're learning here. Mm -hmm. Don't take them for granted. Don't sure. take TikTok for granted. Uh -huh. Yeah, so if you see me out there, you know, doing this on the streets, don't ask why, what are you doing? You know, some people <laughs> just think we are just playing. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. But that people pay bills with those things they do, so mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I welcome you to Kisi when you come there. At least mm -hmm. you will get me there. We go and cook uh, yeah. Kisi village matoke. Mm -hmm. You know, in our in our account, we like or oh, we love matoke, yeah. ugali. You know the brown one. The brown one. The yes. sweetest one. You cook with matumbo. I don't know how can oh, we call matumbo yeah, in English. Matumbo is a. I really don't know. But matumbo in English. Intestines. The, the, the intestines yes. Yeah. Or you cook with the chicken. Yeah, it's so sweet. It's I think sweet. when you're gonna come there, we're mm. gonna try. Yeah. And I welcome you. And all I can say, I wish you all the best. Thank you so May much. Almighty God bless your mm. work. May Almighty bless you in whatever you are doing. You know, yeah. uh, being a YouTube uh, or a content creator, yeah. it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Yeah. Sometimes you get some negative comments. You're yeah. like, oh my God, yeah. you know. They'll you get to you yes. at the beginning. Yeah. But with time, it will just... You'll but you know, you know, there are some people with uh, soft hearts. Yeah. You know, let me tell you. Let me be honest with you. Mm. Those neg negative comments can make someone go to, into depression. Yeah. True, can sure. make someone to kill him, himself or yeah, herself. Yeah, Trust me, yeah. we are not all the same. Yeah. Guys, when you comment kindly, we be humbly nice. request you. But be you know nice. What I, say? what I say, if I see a negative comment, mm -hmm. I don't take it for, like, I imagine mm -hmm. the situation the person is in. Mm -hmm. Like, you maybe, he's, he's telling you all these negative things and you're better than him mm -hmm. or her somewhere. He's just miserable somewhere, you know, feeling, you know how it's it's so hard to carry hate in your heart. So somebody is carrying all this hate and bringing them to you, yet you're better than them. So 
I reason like that. I'm like, this person is just, I'm better than them. Sure. So there's nothing, this thing, I, I even feel bad for those people. <laughs> you know, see, you people. made me remember one thing. Yeah. The other day, I posted a, a short video of Marwa, mm. and uh, there's someone who came into my WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. She wrote me a very bad message. Mm. I showed even my friends. Mm. I felt so bad. Mm. You know, someone calling someone Illuminati, like you people, that guy <laughs> is recruiting you to be beggars. Mm. I don't know Illuminati. Mm. I felt so bad, you know, must be. especially in our county. Mm. I know most people, they can pay a witness. Mm. We have done a lot. Mm. I'm not a Illuminati. Yeah. I'm not a beggar. Mm. When I do this, I do because of the passion. Mm. You know, charity, charity, yeah. it's not like they give you money. You are mm. the one who gives yeah. out, you know, yeah. that's when and someone comes and say like, you know, you, 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 you have been recruited to be a beggar. Mm. And I was like, okay, mm. I'm a beggar. You are lucky you are not a beggar. That thing hurted me. Mm. By the end of the day, what I said, you know, some people are bitter. Even I asked the lady, mm. why you sound so bitter? <laughs> You are so bitter. You don't have to be that bitter. Yeah. You sound like you know someone is life more than they know themselves. Yeah. Mm. So I don't know why so many people are so bitter with them. I feel so bad for that yeah. lady. I feel so bad for her. Huh? And there's no time. Go and check Google. Google pay. You know yes. the ads that you watch and skip? Yeah. Maybe that's, that's you know, that's, that's what pays. That's money. And I wonder why people say, what is Illuminati? Do you even know what Illuminati is? Can you just Google what Illuminati is? Don't don't talk things that you don't understand, please. Yeah, and they think and like recruiting is one plus be one. Be open-minded. Be open-minded. Mm -hmm. Learn how the world works now. Sure. The, we are not even five years ago is slow. Yeah. Right now it's fast. Yeah. And please be open-minded. Don't be negative. You sure. know, if you're negative and say Illuminati, you'll remain there for the rest of your life. And you will see that person growing, shining, everything. You'll remain there yeah. for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. You, by the time you reach 40, you start regretting, I wish, I wish. I wish I you know, knew. Be open-minded, stop thinking negative and join, join the world, like move with the world right now. <laughs> yeah. See, now speaking of that, I've remembered. Yeah. You know, this is a very crucial, very important information or a question. Yeah. Which challenges do you go through? Challenges, I, I always say this thing, uh, I really don't have a lot of challenges, but maybe I'll say one or two. Mm -hmm. One or two is my channel is a cooking channel mm -hmm. and I have to use money to do the video. Mm -hmm. And if I want to cook beef or chicken, I have to spend. So even before when I was still getting like less than a thousand views or a thousand views, I can use like a thousand Kenyan shillings to, to cook. cook, but get uh, like 500 on that video mm -hmm. if it didn't do well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... But that's, that's not an issue. You know, when, when you're doing something, do it for the future. Mm -hmm. When you're doing a video, do a video that you know this video. Mm -hmm. In the next five years, it can still be watched, especially cooking videos. Mm -hmm. If I say how to cook a, a, a chicken, you know, that, that's a video that can be watched in the next 20 years. Sure. Yeah. Somebody will still just search it and watch it. So I don't feel bad even if I use 5,000 and get 3,000. Mm -hmm. That was one of the challenges. Another challenge is... I really don't have challenges. <laughs> yeah. The first YouTuber who doesn't have challenges. I really don't have challenges. Uh -huh. Maybe the only thing I'd say is uh, I don't get the chance to do collaborations with other YouTubers because mm -hmm. I've been so busy, mm -hmm. especially right now that I'm cooking for the boss. Mm -hmm. And even before, because as a, as a content creator who does cooking videos, I want to leave my house at 9, maybe 10. Okay. Sometimes I'm relaxed. Mm -hmm. I go buy my stuff, it's 11 or 12. I want to cook, it's 2. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to the house, edit my video, maybe it will take 3 hours, it's mm -hmm. 4. I'm tired now, I want to sleep. Mm -hmm. So getting that chance to do collaboration was, was one tough thing, by the way. Mm -hmm. And I've missed so many chances. Collaborations are very nice, by the mm -hmm. way. It doesn't matter if the person has 100 subscribers. Or 10 or 10 uh -huh. collaborations help because you out of that 10 you'll get two uh -huh. from from that person sure yeah so that maybe that's one of the biggest challenges i'm facing uh -huh. my content needs a lot of time but we, we also need to post daily and also people want collaboration so sure. 
you find that people say, oh, she doesn't want collaborations, but they don't understand that. Your schedule. The, you the, so... the content is not like theirs. Yeah. You know, then they just do vlogging. You can yeah. do vlogging 30 minutes, your video is up. Yeah. But mine takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, see, I'm happy. And the negative you. comments, they, yeah. they affected me so much uh -huh. at the beginning, but it reaches, it reaches a point you just don't care anymore. Uh -huh. yeah. No, you mean you are don't care? Yeah, you, it reaches a point you just now don't care anymore. You reason like, you, you put yourself in that person's mm -hmm. uh, shoes mm -hmm. and reason like, why, is they, why are they reasoning like this? Mm -hmm. Maybe they are miserable, maybe they are jealous, maybe they, you know. Mm -hmm. So when I reason like that, I won't take that serious. Well, yeah. amazing. Yeah. So guys, I've been with T. Uh, I am Mara's chef and guys, she's amazing, amazing. I know if we were given like three hours, mm. guys, <laughs> we're gonna talk, talk, talk. Yeah. But in our next video, guys, I think we are we are going to look for a day. We're going to the push, yeah. you know, push and do some nice and do some nice videos yeah. about cooking. I know most people want to know how matoke and the brown ugali. Yeah, yeah. we cook. She will cook because we, by then me I'm a bad cooker. Oh, really? I don't know. I'm a is this a cooker or a cook? A cook. Yeah, I'm a you bad cook. cook. I don't like cooking. Yeah. I don't like. Yeah. I'm not saying like uh, I don't cook. Mm. I do, but about uh, vlogging, about uh, about food, no, I'm not. <laughs> this one is the best. It, for me, we can travel. I can take you everywhere, but about cooking, I'm not there. Yeah, so okay. we are going to look for another day. Mm. We're gonna go somewhere, mm. show you how to cook African meals. Yeah. Hope you guys you gonna enjoy. For my subscribers from Cyprin and from Pashua TV, kindly. Go to our sister's channel, yeah. check out her video, she's amazing. Thank For those you. people who like girls with the uh, African, tra no, traditional, uh, how do you feel, outfits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go there. She's amazing. Okay. You know, they always say black beauty is always the best. Black <laughs> beauty is a So guys, don't miss to go there. Stay in our channel. Click that subscription uh, button. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down there how, so that we can know how you feel about this video. Oh, are you okay? Are you happy? Are you sad? Oh, what can we improve so that you can be happy? Yeah. So guys, you are always our bosses yeah, and positive. whatever you ask we're gonna give you and all we ask we need positive vibes only because nowadays people are depressed yeah. we just want somewhere to sit and enjoy yeah. so guys stay tuned see you in our next video bye